The festival reignited the cultural heritage of the Munede people was to herald a new farming season. During the festival, warlords from the five quarters in Umunede Kingdom paid homage to the traditional ruler Obi Eziegu Ezanwili the first. Adorned in different funny attires, the people danced round the street of Umunede, rubbing the native chalk in different parts of their body. <laughs> Chairman of the OBE in Council, Chief Benson Iyama, and the Vice Chairman, Chief Amos Oyangu, who spoke on the essence of the festival, explained that rubbing the native chalk was not fetish, but signified purity. Of course, as you can see here, people say all these are fetish in all these things. No, it's celebration of love and uh, it is a uh, white chalk. No blood is being spilled. And white chalk means purity, purity, blessing. It's a festival they do after farming period, like going to brush the farm. So it's for a celebration, giving God all the thanks for saving them from all this they did during the farming period. So uh, we've noticed that apart from the white chalk and the mode of dressing, there are also paint and mold. What does this signify? It's part of it. It's the fun. It's the fun. It's not satanic, it's not evil. Other members of the traditional council said the festival was to preserve the cultural heritage of the Umunede people. Oh, the celebration is uh, planting season in April. Harvest season is September, so we have to please the gods to give us good rain, good seeds to plant so that we can harvest by September. So this, when they are dancing, Ruby brings white chalk. A very fast, you must have seen it. The festival is all about giving thanks to Almighty God.